So let us solve some problems about gears. I will explain this in pure Tagalog or Filipino. So yung lecture natin about gears, pwede nyo i-download gamit yung link sa baba or sa video description. So our first problem, problem 9-2 from the book of James N. Doty. Two shafts are 15 inches on centers. So ibig sabihin, ito yung ating center distance. Okay, so that is C. So 15 inches. One of the shafts carries a 42 two diametral pitch gear which drive a gear on the other shaft at a speed of 150 rpm. How fast is the 40 teeth gear turning? So assuming ito yung ating figure, so wala kasing given figure dun sa ating book. So sabihin natin ito yung ating 40 teeth gear and then ito yung isang gear. Itong diameter niya, inassume ko lang na mas malaki itong 40 teeth. Okay, tapos ito yung isang gear. So, ito yung mga given, center distance, 15 inches, and then yung teeth ng isang to, 40. Yung PD, or yung ating diametral pitch ay 2 teeth per inch. And then yung RPM ng isa, ito kanina, 150 RPM. So, yun ay N2. Okay? So, hahanapin natin yung angular velocity ng 40 teeth gear. Okay? So, ito yung ating 40 teeth gear. So, therefore, yung N1 ang hahanapin natin. Okay? So, solution. From the speed ratio formula, so nandun lang naman yung ating n. So speed ratio, n2 over n1, or that is equal to d1 over d2. Also, that is equal to t1 over d2. So ano ba yung pwede natin gamitin dito sa dalawang to? Ito bang n and d, or yung n and t? Actually, kahit saan dito yung ating gamitin, pwede naman. Okay? Basta ang objective natin dyan ay solve yung N1. So, ang N2 given, and then yung T1, and then C, and then yung ating PD. Since given yung center distance, mas madali siguro kung diameter yung ating gagamitin instead na yung teeth. Okay? So, solve na lang natin yung diameters. Although, pwede na may solve yung teeth. So, solving for D1, from the formula for PD, which is T over D, we can solve D1 from here, or that is simply T1 over PD. Then substituting T1, which is 40, divided by our PD, which is 2. So therefore, our D1 is equal to 20 inches. So okay na tayo sa D1. Next, na isosolve natin ay yung ating D2. So from the center distance formula, D1 plus D2 over 2, or 2C is equal to D1 plus D2. Okay, just substitute now C and D1. Okay, to solve for D2 which is equal to 10 inches. So, mas maliit yung D2 natin. So, tama lang yung ating figure. So, therefore, we can now solve for N1. So, using this formula, so N2 which is 150 RPM multiplied by uh, D2, 10 inches over 20 inches. So, this is equal to 75 RPM. So, next problem, 9-3. Even a gear, 24 teeth, 4 diametral pitch. The addendum equals 1 inch divided by diametral pitch. The clearance is to be 1 eighth of the addendum. And the backlash is to be 2% of the circular pitch. So, nandito yung mga given natin. So, yung number of teeth ng gear, diametral pitch, and then yung addendum. Then, clearance, and of course, meron din tayong uh, backlash na 2% ng PC or yung ating circular pitch. So, calculate the following, giving the result to 3 decimal places. First, the pitch diameter. Okay. So, sa ating figure, ito na yan, Yung pitch diameter natin, denoted by D. Then, the diameter of the blank gear before cutting the teeth. Okay. So, that is our addendum diameter also. And let us denote that as DO. Yung outside diameter natin dito. Next, unknown, the depth of the teeth. Okay. So, yung lalim ng teeth natin. Next, backlash the tooth thickness, and the space width. So, ito yung backlash, denoted by B. Tooth thickness, denoted by capital T, and then space width, denoted by S. So, solution. So, for D, or the pitch diameter, so, from PD is equal to T over D. Okay? So, given yung number of teeth, so, let us denote this as T sub G, and then PD I4. So, substitute lang natin yung T, and then yung PD. So, solve for D. So, TG24 divided by PD4. So, this is equal to 
6 inches. Next, unknown DO. So, ang DO natin, bago natin masolve yan, kailangan natin ng addendum. Okay? So, yung DO, kung isosolve natin siya, gamit yung pitch diameter. So, DO is equal to yung D plus dalawang addendum. Kasi itong taas na to, addendum din yan, tapos ito addendum din. So, DO is equal to D plus 2 addendum. So, again, yung D natin ay 6 inches na, na nasolve natin dito kanina. And then, yung addendum ay 1 over PD. Ang PD natin ay 4. So, substitute lang natin yung dalawang yun. So, D ay 6 plus 2 multiplied by yung addendum. So, 1 over PD or 1 over 4. That's why yung ating DO ay equal to 6.5 inches. Next, let us solve for H sub T, which is equal to our addendum plus didendum. Since wala tayong didendum, Pwede natin isolve yung didendum in terms of addendum and clearance. So, that's why yung ating tooth depth ay equal to 2 addendum plus clearance. So, again, yung ating addendum ay 1 over PD. So, 2 multiplied by 1 over 4. And then, yung ating clearance ay addendum over 8. But again, yung ating addendum ay 1 over PD. So, that's why 1 over 4 yung ating numerator dito. Yung ating A. Then, over 8. Okay, so this is equal to 0.531. This is in inch. Okay, so sinunod lang natin yung 3 decimal places dito. So next unknown, we have the backlash. So backlash based from the given. So we have 2% of the circular pitch. So B is equal to 0.02 multiplied by PC. Wherein your PC is equal to 5D over T. So, ang pitch diameter natin kanina, nasolve na natin yan. And then, yung T, ito ay T sub G. So, substituting yung diameter natin kanina, which is equal to 6 inches, and then yung ating T sub G, 24. So, ang masasolve natin na backlash dyan ay 0.016 na lang. Okay? So, next unknown for the tooth thickness. So, paano ba natin isosolve yung tooth thickness? Although meron tayong backlash, wala naman tayong space width. So, ang pwede natin gamitin therefore ay yung ating circular pitch. So, yung ating circular pitch dito sa ating figure ay nandito. So, yung point na to hanggang dito, so yun yung ating PC. So, in terms of T, yung ating PC ngayon ay PC equal to backlash plus 2T. Kasi ito, 2 thickness din. Or 2 thickness, therefore, is equal to PC minus backlash over 2. So, yung PC natin ito yun, 5D over T sub G. And then, yung backlash, 0.016. So, this is equal to 0.385 inch. Last unknown for S or the space width. So, yun ay tooth thickness minus backlash lang. So, S is equal to tooth thickness 0.385 minus yung backlash 0.016. So, this is equal to 0.369 inch. Next problem, we have 9-5, 2 gears, 2 and 4, have 10 and 15 teeth respectively. The distance between centers of the shaft is 10 inches. Okay? The addendum equals the module and the clearance equals to 0.157 times the module. So, there is no backlash. Placing the center of 2 on a vertical line above the center of 4, draw, indicate, and give the values of the diameters of the pitch. So, yung first ano natin ay pitch diameter. And then, addendum, didendum, root circles, or yung ating didendum circle. Also, find the thickness of the teeth. Draw one half size. Unfortunately, yung draw one half size na requirement, hindi ko madadrawing dito sa ating ano, uh, drawing area ngayon dito. Pero ang ibig sabihin ng one half size, ang scale natin dyan ay 1 is to 2 or one half. So, solution for our first unknown, we have the pitch diameters. Okay? So, ito yung ating figure. So, ang pitch diameters dito ay yung D sub 2 saka D sub 4. So, yung diameter ng pinion, ito yung sa gear. Pwede rin natin i-denote na D sub G saka D sub P. Okay? So, ito yung D sub P, ito yung D sub G. Okay? So, paano ba natin isusolve ngayon yan? So, meron tayong number of teeth and center distance. Ang gagamitin natin yung center distance. So, C is equal to D2 plus D4 over 2. So, ang clearance natin dyan ay 10 inches. Or D2 plus D4 is equal to 20 inches. So, say this is equation 1. Then next, saan natin pwede i-relate yung diameter? Of course, dun sa ating number of teeth. Okay? So, from speed ratio or gear ratio, pwede rin dun sa ating module. Yan, di ba yung module natin ay? D over T. Pwede rin dun sa PD. 
Okay, so D or T over D ito. So, meron tayong dalawang gear. So, lagyan natin ng subscript. So, pwede natin ilagay dito. D2, T2 is equal to D4, T4. Ayan. Pero doon na lang tayo sa speed ratio or gear ratio. Okay, so yun yung T's ng mas marami. So, T sub 4 over yung mas kukunti na hangipin. Ayan. So, equate natin sa in terms of diameter. So, D sub 4 over D sub 2. So, substitute yung dalawang T's or number of T's. So, 15 over 10 is equal to D4 over D2. Or D4 is equal to 3 halves D2. So, say this is equation 2. Then, substitute equation 2 to 1. So, D2 plus D4. So, 3 halves uh, D2 equal to 20 inches. So, D2 is equal to 8 inches. Then, for D sub 4, of course, from equation 2. So, D4 is equal to 3 halves of your D2 which is 8 inches. So, this is equal to 12 inches. So, we are done with the first unknown. So, next unknown we have the addendum. So, based from the given, addendum is equal to the module. So, A is equal to M. So, module is D over T. Since meron na tayong nasolve kanina na diameter sa number of teeth, meron tayo dito sa given. So, gagamitin lang natin either yung D sub 2 over T sub 2 or ito, D sub 4 over T sub 4. Gamitin na lang natin yung ating D sub 2 tsaka T sub 2. So, D sub 2 ay 8 over yung ating T sub 2. So, ang ating D sub 2 ay 8 inches and then yung T sub 2 ay 10. So, this is equal to 0 0.8 inch. Next, we have the dedendum. So, ang dedendum natin, denoted by D. So, pwede natin ilagay na addendum plus clearance. So, yung addendum natin, yung nasolve natin dito kanina. So, 0 0.8 plus yung ating clearance, 0 0.157 multiplied by the module. So, 0 0.8. 157 multiplied by the module. Yung module natin dito kanina ay 0 0.8 din. So, this is equal to 0 0.9256. Yun palang ating didendum dito ay denoted by B. So, palitan na lang natin to ng B. So, next unknown, we have the root circles. Yung mga root circles, ito yun, D sub R sub 2 sa yung uh, D sub R sub 4. Okay? So, kung isasolve natin yung root circle dito sa ating gear 2, yung kanyang diameter therefore ay yung pitch diameter minus dalawang didendum or that is your 2B. Okay? So, na-drawing naman na natin dito yung root circles. So, ito yung mga yun. So, solve lang natin yung kanilang mga diameters. So, yung D sub 2 kanina, yun ay 8 minus 2 multiplied by the didendum. So, that is 0 0.9256. So, our root circle or root circle diameter for the gear 2 is equal to 6.3488. So, this is in inches. So, D sub R sub 2. Next, for D sub R or root circle diameter for the gear 4. So, again, D sub 4 minus 2B. So, ang D sub 4 natin ay 12 inches. Minus 2 multiplied by 0 0.9256. So, this is equal to 10.3488 inches. So, last unknown is the tooth thickness. Okay? So, dun sa ating figure for tooth thickness. So, ito yon And then, ito yung space width. And then, take note, wala tayong uh, backlash. Or B is equal to 0. Okay? So, therefore, yung ating tooth thickness at yung space width ay pareho. Ngayon, paano ba natin susolve yung tooth thickness? So, kung 0 yung backlash, yung ating formula ngayon para masolve yung ating tooth thickness ay equal to PC over 2. Okay? So, dun sa ating previous problem kanina, PC minus backlash over 2 yung tooth thickness. Pero since yung backlash natin ngayon dito sa ating next problem ay 0, so therefore, yung tooth thickness ay PC over 2 lang. So, PC is pi D over 2. So, pwede natin kunin maalin dun sa D2 or D4. Okay? So, yung ating D2 kanina, yun ay 8 inches. So, yung D2 na lang sa katito gamitin natin. So, pi D2 over T2 over 2. So, this is equal to 1.2566 inch. Next problem, a machine is made to 8 diametral pitch spar gears to be mounted on a center distance of 16 inches with a speed ratio of 7 to 9. Find the number of teeth in each gear. So, yung given natin dito ay PED, yung 8DP. Okay? Then, center distance, 16 inches. Then, meron tayong speed ratio na 7 to 9. Pag ganyan na nauna yung maliit, so 7 to 9, ibig sabihin, yan yung 
angular velocity ng mas malaki over yung mas maliit. So, dito sa figure natin, ito na lang yung ilalagay nating mas malaki. So, dito sa, so, dito sa ating figure, ito yung n ng mas malaki, n2. Ito yung mas maliit nandito. So, n2 over n1 yung ating ilalagay na given for. Uh, so, n2 over n1 yung ating ilalagay na designation para dun sa ating... So, n2 over n1 yung ilalagay natin dito for the given speed ratio na 7 to 9. So, the unknown are... So, the unknowns are t1 and t2. Okay? So, since given yung center distance sya ka PD ulit, so, pwede natin gamitin yung... Ngayon, ano ba yung gagamitin natin para masolve yung number of teeth? Okay? So, i-relate lang natin siya sa number 1, size speed ratio, tapos dun sa ating center distance. So, paano ba natin susolve itong dalawang to? Okay? So, pwede tayong mag-start ka... So, pwede tayong mag-start ng solution maalin dito sa tatlong to. Relate lang natin yung number of teeth. Okay? So, start natin sa center distance. So, kung center distance ang usapan, C is equal to D1 plus D2 over 2. So, hindi naman hinahanap yung diameter. So, pwede natin palitan yung diameter in terms of teeth. Saan ba natin kukunin yung formula na gagamitin? So, that is from PD, which is T over D. Okay? So, meron tayong dalawang teeth tsaka diameter. Pwede natin lagyan ito ng T1, D1, tsaka T2, D2. Or yung ating D1 dyan ay equal to T1 over PD. And then, yung D2... T2 over PD. Okay, so therefore, pwede natin i-rewrite to ng T1 over PD plus T2 over PD over 2. Or, that is simply T1 plus T2 over 2. So, yung C natin ay 16 inches. Okay, so therefore, T1 plus T2 is equal to 32. So, ang formula natin ngayon for C ay T1 plus T2 over 2 PD. Okay. So, substitute lang natin yung C na 16 and then yung PD na 8 inches. So, meron tayong equation na T1 plus T2 equal to 16 times 2 PD. So, PD is 8 inches. So, therefore, T1 plus T2 equal to 16 times 2 multiplied by 8. So, this is 256. Say this is equation 1. Okay. So, next relation from the speed ratio. Okay. So, yung n2 over n1, pwede nating equate ito ng t2 over. So, yung given speed ratio na n2 over n1, pwede nating equate ito ng in terms of t. So, t1 over t2. So, we can say therefore that t1 is equal to 7 over 9 t2. So, galing yung dito sa ating given. So, therefore, we can also for t1 and t2, lagay lang natin ito dito sa ating equation 1. Or, pwede rin natin tanggalin itong equation number. So, substitute lang natin itong isang to dito sa ating equation. So, T1 is 7 over 9 T2 plus T2 equal to 256. So, T2 therefore is equal to 144. So, from either dito sa ating equation na to or dito, pwede na natin solve yung T1. So, 7 over 9 multiplied by 144. So, this is equal to 112. Next problem, in a standard bevel gear, the pinion rotates at 150 RPM. Its number of teeth is 14, while the gear has 42 teeth. What is the pitch angle of the pinion? So, ito yung ating bevel gear. Ang hanapin natin ay yung pitch angle alpha sub P. Okay, so ito yon. Ito yung ating pinion, yung mas malaki. So, gamit yung ating formula for the pitch angle of the pinion, tangent, alpha sub P is equal to N sub P over N sub G. Take note na yung N sub P dito, number of teeth. And then, ito ay number of teeth din ng gear. So, pwede rin nating palitan ng variable, pwede yung T, kung nalilito tayo dun sa variable natin dito. So, direct substitution. So, this is equal to N sub P, 14 over 42. So, alpha sub P is equal to the arc tangent of 14 over 42. So, this is 18.43 degrees. So, this is a passport exam problem. So, a triple thread worm has a pitch diameter of 3 inches. Okay, so ito yung worm. Ang pitch diameter daw niya, DW, ay 3 inches. The wheel has 24 teeth and the pitch diameter of 5 inches. Ito yung wheel. D sub G ay 5, yung kanyang number of teeth ay 25. Compute the tangent of the helix angle. 
So, yun ating formula for the lead angle. Okay? Pero, kapag ka, ang shaft angle natin ay 90 degrees, although dito sa problem, walang sinabing shaft angle. So, pag ganito, i-assume natin na yung ating shaft angle ay 90 degrees. Pag 90 degrees yan, equal lang yung lead angle sa yung helix angle. So, therefore, ito rin yung gagamitin natin sa ating solution. So, we're in yung lead natin ay equal to 3P since triple thread. Okay? And then, P sub A, yun yung ating pi D over T. Okay? Yung D natin ay yung diameter ng gear. So, solution. So, using this formula, tangent lambda is equal to L over pi D W. So, ito pwede rin natin palitan ng psi. Okay? So, equal to 3 P sub A okay, over pi D W. Where in yung P sub A natin ay pi D G over T. So, we can now solve for the tangent of your helix angle which is pareho lang sa tangent ng ating lead angle. So, 3 multiplied by so, pi multiplied by our D sub G. So, given dito yung ating pitch diameter ng wheel, 5 inches. And then, yung number of teeth. So, meron tayong 25. So, take note, ito pa lang yung ating P sub A. Then, over pi diameter of worm. So, 3 inches. Okay? So, this is equal to 0 0.2. So, next problem, a Mitsubishi car transmission has 2 spark gears in mesh having a velocity ratio of 1.4. The number of teeth in the driven gear is 36 and the diametral pitch is 3. So, yung mga given, ito yon, And then, yung ating required ay yung number of teeth ng ating driver. And then, yung ating C or yung center distance. And then, yung ating circular pitch. So, solution. From the speed ratio, again, yung N1 over N2, pwede natin i-denote to ng T2 over T1. So, therefore, yung T1, masusolve na natin dito. Okay? Yung T2 kasi natin ay 36. So, from T2 over T1 is equal to N1 over N2, yung ating speed ratio na 1.4. Okay? So, substitute lang yung T2 na 36. Okay? Yung T1, yung unknown, and then, ang speed ratio ay 1.4. So, therefore, ang T1 ay equal to 36 divided by 1.4. So, ang T1 natin dito ay 25.71, pero wala namang ngipin na butal. Kasi wala naman tayong ngipin na 25.7. Okay? So, mas malapit tayo sa 26 kaysa doon sa 25 lang. And then, next for C, the center distance. So, yung C natin, pwede natin gamitin tong ating formula dito. Na, na derive natin kanina dito sa ating problem. Okay? Para mapabilis yung ating computation. So, T1 plus T2 over PD or 2PD. So, this is equal to... So, T1, 26 plus T2, so 36 over 2 multiplied by PD, so 3. Okay, so, ang C natin therefore ay 10.33. So, 10.33 uh, inches. Okay, next for our last unknown, P sub C or yung circular pitch natin. So, since given yung PD, pwede natin gamitin yung PC multiplied by PD is equal to pi. So, PC therefore is equal to pi over 3 inches. So, therefore, yung ating PC ay pi over 3 or 1.047. Okay? So, pero pwede na to. So, next problem. So, a pair of gear or pinion of 42 tooth and 18 tooth with a diametral pitch of 0 0.7874 teeth per centimeter. And the addendum is 0 0.8 over P. Yung P dito, yun yung ating diametral pitch. And the addendum is 1 over P. So, the gear pressure angle is 20 degrees. Compute the center distance of the pair of gears in meters. So, ang hanapin natin ay C in meters. Okay? So, solution. So, center distance again using our formula na na-derive natin. So, T1 plus T2 over 2 PD. Okay? Yung PD natin ay 0 0.7874. So, substitute lang natin yung T1 tsaka T2 or yung dalawang ngipin na 42 and 18 over 2 multiplied by 0 0.7874. Okay, so ito ay this per centimeter. So, therefore, ang magiging unit natin dito ay naka centimeters. So, 39.37 ito. Or, divide natin ng 100 centimeters. Okay, so 1 meter dito sa ating numerator. Or this is equal to 0.3937 uh, meter. So, next problem, find the tooth thickness on the tooth 
circle of a 20 degrees fold depth involute tooth having a diametral pitch of 3. So, ang PD natin ay 3, circular pitch of 1.0472 and hold depth of 0 0.6. So, for 20 degrees fold depth, okay, ano ba yung ating magiging tooth thickness? So, using our table for 20 degrees fold depth, so, ang tooth thickness natin ay 1.5708 over PD. So, ang PD natin na given dito ay 3. So, this is equal to, so, yung masasolve natin dito ay 0.5236 inch. So, i-convert lang natin into millimeter. Okay? So, ang sagot natin dito ay 13.3 millimeters. So, itong problem kasi na to ay passport exam. So, ang nasa choices ay naka millimeters. So, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.